Most people find it hard to understand how silent, invisible rays, which cannot even be felt, could be so damaging. Let's see what happens when radiation penetrates the body and attacks the cells. What is a cell and what happens when it is attacked? It's a simple organism which reproduces itself by dividing. Our bodies are made up of millions of cells. They're the building blocks of our blood and tissues. Now, powerful radiation strikes and cells are injured or destroyed. If radiation stops before the accumulated dose is too great, almost all of the damage eventually will be repaired. If radiation continues, there are some cells less able to function at top efficiency. Should the body fall behind in its recovery, severe illness or death could result. The key then is the amount, the total dose of radiation received. We measure radiation the same way speed is measured by a speedometer. Only instead of a speedometer, we have a rate meter. And instead of miles per hour, we measure the rate in Rentgens per hour. We need another device called a dosimeter to record how much radiation a person has accumulated over a period of time. In the same way we record accumulated distance in miles, the dosimeter records accumulated dose in Rentgens. With this in mind, let's return to background radiation. In an average lifetime, a person might expect to accumulate about 10 Rentgens from his natural environment. Not enough to affect his health. This same healthy person would need medical care if he received more than 200 Rentgens within a few days. 300 Rentgens in the same period would cause severe radiation sickness or possibly death. And as we go beyond 300 Rentgens, the danger of death increases rapidly. So now we see why shelter is vital. The difference between accumulating a large dose because of little or no shielding and a small dose because of adequate shielding is the difference between death and life.